everyone. We're so excited that you're tuning in to this Discover Karis meeting. You know, I have no doubt that since you are tuning in, God has placed a desire on the inside of your heart to attend Karis Bible College. So we're just going to talk more about that. So I'm delighted to introduce the, the founder of Karis Bible College, Andrew Womack, and then the vice president and also the director of Karis Bible College, Colorado, Carrie Pickett. So we're just going to talk a little bit and then uh, give you some more information. So Andrew, um, can you share with us why you started Cares Bible College? Well, the Lord told me to do it, but it basically was from this scripture in 2 Timothy chapter 2, where he says in verse 2, the things which thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. And so the Lord told me from the very beginning of my ministry that it was to train Christians, not an evangelistic type of thing, but to make disciples. And that's what the church hasn't done is make disciples. They've been making converts. And so this has been a desire of mine. And then it was, I was over in England. Uh, I think it was June the 22nd of 1993. And the Lord just spoke to me and said, start a Bible college. Mm -hmm. And that was the last thing on my mind, but he gave me a unique way of doing it. And so this, this is not only just teaching, but it's discipleship. It's training. We put people on missions trips and do a lot of things. So this was just a fulfillment of this command to go and make disciples. That's awesome. That's awesome. And Carrie, I have a question for you. So as director of Karis Bible College, Woodland Park, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your history with Karis Bible College and why you do all the stuff you do for Karis Bible College? Yeah, well, I want to welcome everybody that's watching. And, um, you know, one of the things I love, I've been a part of, I'm actually an alumni now, 22 years being an alumni. Uh, so I graduated in 1999 and I came to Bible College uh, when I was young. I came when, right when I turned 18. And I remember... Um, knowing, and this may be for many of you that are watching this, you know that God has called you to do something, but you don't have a message. And that's really what God told me. He says, you have a calling, but you don't know what to share. And I knew I had to get the word equipped within me. And so when I came to Karis Bible College, I think that's what the biggest thing that happened for me is that all of a sudden, my understanding of the message of what I could share with other people wasn't about just what I was going to preach to people, but all of a sudden, uh, it meant something to me. Now there was a whole other revelation and lifestyle. And so then I could apply it knowing I was called to the mission field. So when I graduated, I actually went over to Russia and helped uh, be part of a team that launched and started the, the Russia Karis and was over there for 16 years. And I'll just say why I love doing what I do and why, again, we moved back here to uh, America a number of years ago. But it's to see people discipled because when they get to know God, they know who God's within them, then they know how God can live out of them. And I think once people understand that, they can literally change not only their families and their lives and their future, their futures, but they can start impacting other people's lives and families and futures. And that is the power of discipleship that it can multiply out of you into the world around you. And I think that's the most exciting thing that I've seen within Karis yeah. and kind of the history and why we're doing what we do. And we see every year graduation after graduation graduation, not just here within uh, Woodland Park, Colorado, but all of our extension schools and all of our international locations, they're walking across the stage, you know, uh, or walking across the Zoom camera and we're seeing lives absolutely transformed. And so that's why we do what we do and why we encourage people to take that huge step of faith to see their life changed. Amen. That's Amen. amazing, which is a fulfillment of why you started it. Absolutely. <laughs> That's awesome. And you know, I'm the older I get, I'm 72 now, and the older I get, I've got to start thinking about, I've got to train up other people because I've got an expiration date. So I think that uh, this phase in my life, it's all about seeing other people uh, do the ministry instead of just me. And so I love Karis. We're seeing lives change. So why Karis Bible College? Well, I'm so glad you are watching because I cannot wait to tell you about it. So first of all, Karis Bible College will radically change your life. You guys, I am a testimony to the goodness of God. My life was changed through Karis Bible College. That is the heart behind Karis Bible College is not only that you know uh, what you believe, but you know why you believe it. And then you're able to teach others also. That is what Karis Bible College is all about. 
The Bible is the only curriculum we have. Honestly, it's the only book we have. We have outlines for the courses and stuff like that, but the Bible is our only curriculum. So why Karis? Well, you get, you're going to get a revelation of God's word. You're going to get um, a revelation of who you are in Christ Jesus. You're going to learn how to walk in God's promises. You're going to learn how to hear God's voice and discover and be equipped for your calling. You know, you have a purpose and a calling that is specifically for you. You were made specifically for it. Do you know what that is? If you don't, I would encourage you to come to Karis Bible College. Praise God. So let's get right into this. So in the first year of Karis Bible College, I'm just going to give you a brief rundown. Okay, so you're going to learn about God's love. You're going to learn about relationship with God. You're also going to learn about the Holy Spirit, your identity, uh, grace and faith, healing, and, um, and then we have revelation groups. And so these revelation groups gives you the opportunity to share what you're learning and it gets you started down that path. I say that because that's really helped me be able to share all this stuff I was learning. So we do that in first year. Now, second year, the main focus is um, basically drawing out of you what we've been pouring into you for the first year. So what does that look like? We're going to cover topics such as how to study the Bible, how to be spirit-led, uh, flowing in the gifts, healthy relationships, interactive groups, and the highlight of second year is missions trips. So I, you know, some people are like, oh, I don't want to go on a missions trip, but I'm here to tell you today, it's one of the most amazing things that you will experience in your life. It's an organized, um, God's aware you're going to have to go to a missions trip, right? Go on a missions trip. So I'm just here to tell you it's so much a part of your growth. And I know a lot of you guys, you're contemplating signing up for first year. So you're like, I don't really even want to think about third year right now. But I want you to think about third year because a lot of you guys, you know, right from the get go, I feel called to be a missionary. Um, I feel called to, you know, be in business. I feel called to media and productions and all this kind of stuff. So let me just list for you what we have in third year because it's amazing. So in third year, we have ministry school. That's what I took. And listen, you guys, I, I was like ministry school. I don't want to be a pastor. Oh, no, that is so wrong because ministry shows you every facet and avenue of what ministry is. And I'm here to tell you that the majority of ministry is not behind the pulpit. Yeah, that is a major factor. But I'm telling you, ministry school will radically change your life. So that's probably the one I'm going to harp on the most because that's what I went to. Praise God. We have business school. We have third year film and production school. We have third year worship arts. Remember, these are specialized tracks into the ministry that are gonna give you top-notch um, education based out of God's word on each of these topics. Uh, global training school, that's basically missions and um, if you wanna become a Karis Bible College director, you would go with that school. We have practical government. That would probably be my next track if I were to take one. And listen, you don't have to just pick one. You can do more than one, praise God. <laughs> or there's a leadership track as well and that's on Saturday hybrid only. So that kind of covers the first, second, and third year. So, you know, a lot of you probably are wondering, well, what is there to do at Karis Bible College? I mean, is there stuff to do there? Well, you know, for me, I like to go to bed early and rise early, so <laughs> I'm less concerned about that. But a lot of you guys that are watching, maybe you are concerned about it. So guess what? We have student connect groups, which would entail a ton of stuff whether it's uh, rafting, ski trips, you can go on hiking. Um, it's, it's basically to get us all uh, to know one another. And, and whatever niche you find yourself in, there are lots of others that, that love that thing too, right? Whether it's hiking or it's biking or board games or any of stuff like that. We also have lunch and learns, which is basically, it's a lunch with the instructors. You get to ask questions and interact with them and get to know them better with instruct not only instructors, but guest speakers as well. And we also have nights of worship. And it's amazing. We do it, you know, when the weather's nice, we do it out at the pavilion. Otherwise it's inside and it's just a time of fellowship of coming together and worshiping together. So that's pretty amazing as far as the student life activities. Also, we have worship on Mondays and Wednesday mornings the entire year of school. And that is a part of your curriculum. You guys, can you imagine coming to school and spending your whole first hour on Monday and Wednesday worshiping God? 
in, in a setting that is unbelievable. I was in worship when I was in Bible school and the most amazing part for me being up on stage was hearing everyone singing. It, it kind of gives you a feeling of what heaven is going to be like. I'm telling you, worship is very important and you can audition and try out for the worship team so you can be a part of it. That's really awesome. Also, another part and a big aspect of Karis Bible College is the productions department, you guys. So you can audition to be in the plays that we put on, these top-notch plays that we do. Uh, you can help behind the scenes. You can help with uh, costumes, with makeup, with hair. You can do you can be a part of whatever you want to be a part of, honestly. We also have events. I mean, we are having more and more events every single year that you get to be a part of. You can serve at them. You can attend them. You get to hear, I mean, world-renowned ministers come here and share. And, and you get to hear Andrew all the time. It is fantastic. Let me just cover the, the different ways that you can do with Karis Bible College. You know, I, I came here to Woodland Park. And I needed the structure. I needed people around me to show me what being a Christian was like. So let me just touch base a little bit about the availability of scheduling in Woodland Park at our campus here, okay? Day school is going to be Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until noon. That's day school. Then we have hybrid, which would be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday evening. Or we have a Saturday hybrid where you would just come on Two Saturdays a month, basically. Um, also, we ha lately have come up with a remote start. So you can start at home, and this is for first year only. Maybe you're like, oh my goodness, I want to come to Karis Bible College so bad, but I just don't know that I can make it there by the end of this month or by the end of August or by whatever time you think you need to be here. Um, first year only, you can start at home and then you can come on campus in January. So that's a great option for those uh, students that are starting. Next, you guys, a lot of people, and I talk to a lot of people on the phones, you have no idea that there's probably a local Karis Bible College campus near you. And uh, for all the people that I talk to, a lot of them do not know that. So uh, we're going to make sure that you can see all the different locations that are around you. And I would encourage you, if you see any in the state near you, you need to reach out. You can, and, and maybe it's not up there long enough for you to see whether or not there is a campus near you. So I would encourage you to give us a call and they can go over uh, and tell you where the different campuses are, not only here in the United States, but internationally. I mean, Karis Bible College is all over the world. And so I want you to check that out. Also, if you're like, nope, sorry, I can't come to Woodland Park. I can't come to the main campus. Oh, nope, sorry. There's no extension locations near me where I live because I live out in the middle of nowhere. Well, you know what? We still, that is still not a legitimate excuse to not do Karis Bible College because we have distance education options. You guys, we have online interactive and it's a mixture of interactive and self-paced. We have eCaris. We, this is where we send Karis Bible College to you, no matter where you are. So I would encourage you to check out those options, options as well. I'm here to tell you there is absolutely no reason why you are not doing Karis Bible College. And I'm here to tell you as well, if you have a desire in your heart to do it, you're supposed to do Karis Bible College. I'm so excited about it. So some of our frequently asked questions, okay? Let me just go over them right quick. So first, am I too old for Karis? <laughs> that's that's funny. No, you're not too old for Garris. Listen, I, when I went to school, I um, knew a man named Richard. He was 89 when he graduated, and he could not wait to fulfill the call of God on his life. You guys, we serve an amazing God. And so, no, you are not too old to come to Karis Bible College. And then it says, how heavy is the workload? Well, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you on how much time you want to spend in the Word of God. Do you have supplemental readings that you have to do in other books? No, you don't. What you do have is to read through the Bible, you guys. Man, you're going to get out what you put into Karis Bible College. So the workload is not heavy. It isn't like you have a ton of homework in first and second year, that is. Uh, third year is another story. But, but we don't have to worry about third year because we're just focusing on first and second year right now. <laughs> is Karis accredited? 
Unfortunately, right now, it is not. But here is my challenge to you. Are you coming to school for an accreditation or are you coming to school for a life change? Because for me, when I came to school, you guys know, well, you don't know, but my life was so radically transformed and there is no certificate, there's no accreditation that could ever ever match a life being transformed. So that's generally my question is, what are you coming to Karis for? Because if it's for an accreditation, yeah, that's all right. But if it's for a life change, man, there's no price to pay. Uh, there's no price to put on a life radically transformed. Do you have financial aid? Unfortunately, we do not. Um, there is, we are not directly connected with the federal government and there's reason behind that. And if you have more questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. What is the application process? Well, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> so what I'm going to want you to do today, the application process is really simple. Uh, we do have an application that you will fill out, but guess what? We have people that want to walk through this with you. So it isn't like we're just throwing you out there by yourself and yeah, apply and jump through all these hoops. No, we're here to help you. So what we want you to do, and that's what I'm going to uh, encourage you to do right now, is we want you to go to discovercaris.com. And that is going to start the process. And then we're going to have someone contact you um, and they are going to walk you through this process of becoming a student at Karis Bible College, whether it's on distance ed, whether it's here on campus in Woodland Park, or it's an extension location, discovercaris.com. Last question, what if I can't move to Woodland Park? Well, I think I've kind of covered that question. <laughs> I think you need to do distance education, or you need to find out if there is a Karis Bible College location near you, and you need to check that out, see what their schedule is, and then um, sign up there. Listen, you guys, I don't care which way you do Karis Bible College. I'm just calling out and I'm speaking to your heart right now. If you want life change, Karis Bible College is the way to do it. And if you want to be exactly the same a year from now as you are right now, then don't do Karis Bible College. But I'm telling you, planting the seed of the word of God in your heart is the only way you will experience lifelong change. Change that isn't going to come and go. It is there to stay. So what do I want you to do? discoverkaris.com. Just go to it, fill out a form. You're not committing um, your life to what's happening. <laughs> You're not, just take that next step. And that's going to discoverkaris.com and filling out the form there. You can also give us a call. It's an 844-360-9577 uh, if you don't want to go to discoverkaris.com. But I would just encourage you, reach out to us, you guys, and uh, your life can be forever changed. And we have a few more questions for Andrew and Carrie. Uh, well, I do anyway. So Andrew, my question to you is for the people, our future Karis Bible College students that are watching right now, uh, how would you share with them, how do you think that coming to Karis Bible College would help them in today's current world climate? Well, you know, the very first teaching that I do in the school is about what we call foundations. And it's just about the importance of the word. And let me use this verse out of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, and I'm going to break right into the middle of this 10th uh, uh, verse. But it says, Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved, and for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And you know, this is the only explanation that I have for what's happening in our society today is that people, because they don't love the truth, which Jesus said in John 17, 17, thy word is truth, because people don't love the word of God, that's the reason that they are so deluded that they can't even tell if they're a male or a female. They can't decide which restroom to go into. They, they think that getting rid of the police is going to make us safer. I mean, this is illogical. And it's because people don't love the truth. The truth has a sanctifying effect. And when you come to Bible college, uh, you are going to get the equivalent of 22 years of church attendance in two years of school. That's how much saturation. You know, and it's like taking a sponge. If you take a sponge and just dip it in the water real quickly and lift it out, you might get it wet around the edges but it's not going to be saturated. But you, if you hold a sponge under the water, it will eventually soak all of that to its core and it, and it totally permeates the thing. 
And so most people do little 15 minute devotions or a one hour a week going to church. And even though that's better than nothing, that's not going to saturate you. It's not going to prepare you for the battle that we're in. And so Karis is an immersive experience where you get saturated with the Word of God and it changes your life, just like Julie. Amen. Yeah, this My woman, life changed. This woman needed to be changed. Guess <laughs> what? I was a mess. Yes, and I was. <laughs> she got totally transformed. I did. <laughs> My life is forever changed because of Karis Bible College. So that's what it's about. So, Carrie, I have a question for you. Okay. So, you've started numerous Karis Bible Colleges in Russia, mm -hmm. and then you came back here and became the director of Karis Bible College, Colorado. And so can you share some of the testimonies or what you've seen in the students through the years that you have been in the position yeah. you're in? So um, besides uh, getting the privilege to start multiple Bible colleges across Russia, um, my husband and I get to oversee world outreach. So we get to be a part of seeing other Bible schools get planted in other nations and other languages. And I think what I love about uh, Karis Bible College, it's not an American thing. It's not an African thing. It's not a Russian thing. It's not, you know, for German speakers or, or French speakers. It's the word of God. That means it passes all cultural boundaries, all political structures, all historic things. That's what's, that's what Andrew's talking about with the truth. The truth is, is for today, wherever you are. So if you're watching internationally this, you're watching, say you're in one of the states or you're at home being a mom thinking, I'm, I'm a mom or, or I've got a business. How does this apply? The word applies to no matter where you are, whatever language, culture, history, even your own personal family dysfunction. Yeah. Uh, the word applies to every single thing because it is truth. And, and the truth is the only thing that sets people free. And so the, what I've seen across the nations is that as we, and we get the privilege of going to different graduations. We've been to African graduations and Chinese graduations and, and uh, you know, in England and all, seeing students change is that they took the truth and they believed God's word was for them and the promises were for them today. And I think that's the thing. When people look at the Word of God, they can look at, oh, someday, someday. And what Karis is really about is teaching that the Word of God is for today. It is for you now. It's not something that you read and say, when I get spiritual enough. No, Karis Bible College is teaching you what Christ has already done. And now by being a believer, what actually is already inside of you that you just don't know. And so this is like this huge birthday present, you know, that you get to open up, wow, this is what I already have. And so this is what I've seen when students get this and their marriages and lives are transformed. And what I also love about Karis Bible College, I know that you've maybe already watched some about what first year offers, second year offers, and third year. What I love even about our third year is that you can go into multiple different things. If we're going to go into government, if you're going to go into worship, if you're going to go into performing arts, if whatever you're going to go into, it's how does the word apply to the gifting in the arena God's called you to? Yeah. And watching people do that, we've had students from, when we were in Russia, we had students from Africa and India and China and Russia and America. We had all these different people and they you know, they went back in and they're sitting on the parliaments in their government. They became doctors, lawyers, engineers, but they're making a difference with the gospel. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the thing. How do you take the truth and then change your environment? So Amen. that's some of the things I've seen. And it's awesome to watch. And I believe that for those of you watching, you're, you've been looking for how do I make a difference how can I have an impact? And this is the way you do it, is that immersion into the truth. And it totally breaks off all your boundaries and excuses that you've had for a long time. Amen. And I think there's a lot of confusion this day and age, too, as far as what is your purpose. Mm -hmm. And I discovered my purpose. You know, I went through life 30 some years of going, I know I'm made for something more than what I'm doing. And so coming to Karis Bible College, I discovered my God-given purpose and destiny. And so that's what Karis Bible College can do for you, as well as numerous, numerous testimonies that come out of lives changed in Karis Bible College. And we want to share one of those with you. So uh, go ahead and watch this testimony and we'll be right back. In about November of 2016, um, I was, all of a sudden, I developed eczema on my face, my chest, my neck, on top of my hands, which was called oozing eczema. It was disgusting. So my healing was progressive. Upon coming here, I was in fear, in fear, anxiety, a lot of that. Uh, I was taking a lot of supplements, uh, herbal supplements. Didn't like the doctor, so I didn't 
want to deal with any medication, etc. So I was spending a lot of money on supplements and coming here, I was still taking those, thinking that I needed to take those. Uh, I was in fear of not taking those and eating the wrong food um, because this was a dairy and gluten intolerance that I was told. I learned I could be healed uh, when I started listening to Andrew and starting knowing the truth. And so coming here, uh, I think is that that's when I understood and had that revelation. We had Barry Bennett's healing class. Man, was that amazing. When I'd heard Barry Bennett's revelation of, you know, killing the snake, that why would you let a snake come into your house, into your living room, when your children were there? Why would you let it stay there? Because that could kill and harm your children. It can harm you. It's a snake. It's a, it could be a spirit of infirmity or whatever, but it's a snake that is coming to steal and to kill and to destroy. And what we typically do is we start adjusting. Well, I can't do that anymore. Can't do that anymore. Can't go there anymore. Why? Well, there's a snake in my, in my body. And I think God, maybe, maybe God sent that. No, are you out of your mind? Kill it. Get stirred up in the spirit of God and recognize it for what it is. It is there to steal. It is there to cause every, everything around your life to be adjusted, to be changed, to be lost, money to be spent. It's a snake. So I realized that I needed to kill that snake in my life. I was not going to take that anymore. I was done. I was ready for it to be out. Like I was sick of it. Karish changed my life because I had no idea who I was. I didn't know my identity. I didn't know the extent of Jesus inside me. I didn't know that he was in me for good, for life, the kingdom that I was already in. I didn't realize the benefit of that, the blessings I have with knowing Jesus. Uh, that's when I had the revelation of that I could actually be healed here and now, and I, I don't have to wait any longer for it. Welcome back. You know, I just, it never gets old to see the power of God Amen. in operation and lives changed, you guys. Yeah. That's what this is all about. That's what the kingdom of God and the word of God is all about is lives being changed. So Carrie, I have another question for you. Okay. So in your opinion, what makes Kara's Bible College different than other colleges out there for people that are watching? Well, I think it depends. You know, there's different kinds of colleges. There's secular colleges and there's there's Christian colleges and there's some great Christian colleges out there. I think the thing first I would say about secular colleges is that's exactly what they are. They're secular. And so even as a believer, if you feel you have a call to be a doctor or engineer or lawyer, uh, we need that in this world and we need you as a Christian. But what I would encourage you <laughs> is you need to lay a foundation because you are really entering an arena that is aggressive after your faith. Mm -hmm. And so you need to know what the Word of God says and you need to gain a confidence in not just what you believe, but how you can articulate it in a world that is trying to truly get us to be quiet and not only be quiet to completely change our belief system so I would say that if for other colleges again I'm not going to say that God's not called you to get certain degrees or, or in our professions we need that we need you in in the workplace uh, shining for the Lord but you really want to put this in into you um, so I would say this is this is a, a huge investment into your future career and the way that God only could advance that career if you put him first and really have a foundation foundation. Now for other uh, maybe biblical colleges or Christian colleges, again, we always tell people pray. We don't, we're don't. we not going to twist your arm to come to Karis Bible College. Obviously, we believe it's the best college out there because <laughs> we've seen the impact. We've seen how it's changed our lives. Yeah. But we pray and get a word from the Lord because once you get a word from the Lord, then He'll make the provision. I think that's the biggest thing. But what I do love about this college and, and as we learn from other colleges, you know, we're always asking other colleges how they're doing this and we really become students of other colleges to say, oh, I like how they do this and I like how they do that. But we stayed true to what God has called us to do. And that really is to disciple people in their faith, not just get them to go out with degrees or, or licenses just to, to parrot other people's messages, but it, it's truly a living word inside of them and that they know how to operate in the power of God. So that's why we have people go on our mission trips. That's why we have them learn to be prayer ministers. That's why we have them learn to teach and preach versus just sitting and listening from a textbook. Our thing that makes Bible College here at Karis so unique 
is that the word of God is our only textbook. Amen. You get the truth from the word and then you learn how to operate in that. And so I think that's what makes us um, unique in the body of Christ right now and what we're trying to encourage other people to get inside of them so that they can they can touch the world. It's really unique that a Bible college would be studying the Bible. Amazing. <laughs> we actually had one guy come to our school who went to four years of cemetery, our seminary, and they never opened the Bible. Wow. Four years. Wow. Because you can read a lot about the Bible and you can mm -hmm. read a lot of other people's opinions about the Word. And there's a lot of Christian books and some of them are really good, but ultimately none of that takes place of the Word of God. Because if you don't learn the Word of God, you don't know God's voice. You don't know the language of God. So then people are stumbling around going, I don't know what the will of God is and I don't know how to hear God. And it's because they haven't spent any time in the Word. Mm -hmm. So if you can get time in the Word, you're going to know God's language. You're going to hear His voice. And then you're going to know the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God for your life. That's just, it's simple, but yet we've gotten away from that sometimes as the body. Amen. And, you know, I um, I handle e Karis right now. And the majority of the things that I hear from first-year students is that they love how each instructor, though they're very individual and very unique in their gifting and in their own revelation, the common theme is they always point it back to relationship with Absolutely. God. That's what Karis Bible College is all about. Like, here's the word of God. This is truth. This is the balance of grace and faith. But you got to have that for yourself with your relationship with God. So, Andrew, my question for you as we kind of round this out is, um, I know that there's people watching out there that maybe uh, have this desire, this inward knowing that you're called to come to Karis Bible College. But maybe they're like, I just don't see how it'll work. So what would you say to them? I would say that you need to come and get my first teaching that I do in the school. But <laughs> real quickly, I'm just going to summarize some things. Mark chapter 4, Jesus taught a parable and says, if you don't understand this parable, you can't understand any of them because this is foundational and it's about the power of the Word of God to transform mm -hmm. your life. He compares it to a seed and he gave a number of parables here. I'm just going to use one, but he says, that this seed, when it's sown in the ground, the guy sleeps and rises night and day and it springs up and bears fruit. He knows not how. And then it says in verse 28, for the seed, uh, for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself. And that phrase of herself is the Greek word automatos and it's where we get automatic or automatically from. The seed, if you will sow the seed of God's word in your heart, it will automatically change you. And this is how God intends for change to happen. It's not through praying and begging and going through all of life's problems that beat you up and so that you <laughs> just finally run up the white flag. You can actually take the Word of God, sow that seed in your heart, and the seed will just automatically bring change. I've got a series entitled Effortless Change, and it really is effortless if you do it God's way. Sure and let the word change it instead of begging and pleading and going through all the other things that people do. So this is what Karis does. It changes people. Amen. It's Amen. Awesome. So we would encourage you that, you know, you don't have to uh, commit to a three to five year program today. All we're asking is just take that next step. And that next step is going to discovercaris.com and filling out a form. You guys, here's the deal. We're going to have people call you and they can go over your options. So as impossible as it may seem, maybe you have a spouse or a family member that maybe isn't on board right now. It doesn't matter. Let's just take that next step and go to discovercaris.com. Fill out that form and we would love to call and talk with you. You know, we have every different type of way you can take Karis Bible College. And if you're still watching, I know you have a desire and that desire is from God, right? You Amen. Say it's, we can pretty much be sure that it's not the devil. It's not the devil okay. that's leading you to come to Bible college, <laughs> I can guarantee. So thank you guys so much for you're taking welcome. time out. And thank you all for staying tuned and watching everything that is Karis Bible College. Remember, discovercaris.com, fill out that form and we'll be talking to you. So have a great day. Mm -hmm.